All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Let me know if you guys can hear me in the comments down below. Go ahead and let me know where you all are tuning in from. I'm so excited to hear and see what everybody has to say today. If you can hear me, just give me a shout out and say, yes, we can hear you. Let me see my girls backstage. Can you guys hear me backstage? Give me a thumbs up. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so excited to be here with you all this evening for Crown Garland TV. It's going to be amazing. We have some beautiful women that are going to be joining us today, our Cosmos title holders, and we are going to have an excellent time. So as you already know, I am Samantha Abraham, your Mrs. Cosmos International of 2020, and I'm so blessed to be able to be here with the Crown Garland TV, and I welcome you. Let me know in the comments when you guys are tuning in from as you guys are coming in into the broadcast, and make sure you go ahead and share 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 this video share the broadcast as you guys are tuning in as well let us know where you are tuning in from as you guys go ahead and put in your comments we will be putting you up here on crown garland tv right on the screen so how exciting is that we have all oh, Miss Junior, Miss Mid-Atlantic Cosmos, you're in backstage and making comments. Woo! She is working double extra hard, y'all. All right, I'm just kidding. Hey, Antonia, welcome back. And we have so many of our other guests and actually a lot of our delegates that are tuning in. We're so happy you guys are here. Thank you, and I welcome you. So with Crown Garland 2, we, we are here to go ahead and present our queens behind the crowns with our current title holders going to our Cosmos National and International pageant this year in Orlando, Florida at the Omni Hotel. So we will be crowning out both nationally and internationally again this year. We do wish all the luck to our international Cosmos countries. India, South Africa, as well as the Philippines, because they will be continuing to have their actual pageants in their own countries this year and crowning out their successors over there since we have COVID. But we are not allowing that to stop us. We are moving forward. And I'm so excited to be able to see all of our international queens when they have their coming pageants as well. Tonight, we will have some special guests that are on here, our queen delegates. And you want to stay tuned for future episodes as well because we want to let you know how you can be discovered with Cosmos. If you want to know what that means and how you can actually be discovered, is it modeling? What is it? It's going to be fabulous. You have to stay tuned because we will be having a special guest that's going to be airing with us very soon. So stay tuned for next week for more information on that. We will also have our reigning queens that will begin to join us coming in the next couple of weeks on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you'll be able to hear straight from them their experiences with the Cosmos pageants as they get ready to head to national and international pageant for Cosmos to crown out their successors. So we have so much on our plate already, but if you did not know, we want to make sure that you guys are completely informed. I know we have talked about this already. However, we still have scholarship money that is available by someone that wants to be unknown, but they have gone ahead and give us cash award for scholarships for the divisions that we have not filled in states that we still have available to you. If you would like to compete with Cosmos, please go ahead and email us at info at cosmospageants.com. You can also go ahead and visit the website, Miss Cosmos United States dot com to find out more information so as you guys know i got to go to miss universe this weekend Woo, girl miss universe it was amazing okay miss cosmos is my miss universe okay i cannot do miss universe i'm too old to do it and i'm married so this is what i got and it is my universe and i love cosmos okay those girls and those women were absolutely beautiful when they grace the stage. So that is something that you guys definitely want to look at. No, we are not Miss Universe. We are Miss Cosmos. However, 
it is very good to be able to look and have a visual to look at of what you want to try to accomplish, the poise, the grace, and the creativity. As you guys know, with Cosmos pageants, we do represent state wear for each and every division and their state so that they can go ahead and be creative. And I can tell you that at this universe pageant, they were just that. So to our delegates that are competing this year and those of you thinking that want to compete, you guys are going to want to stay tuned for this year's Miss Cosmos United States and our internationals as well as they compete for the crown in July at the Omni Hotel. And I'm telling you, besides interview, I would have to say statewear is like my second favorite thing to do because I like to bring it on stage. It is a straight performance for me. That's what gets it for me each and every time. That's what the judges want to see. So I'm very excited to be able to see everything that all of our queens are going to bring to the stage this year because I know it's going to be fabulous. Okay? It's going to be fabulous. Well, did you guys have the opportunity to watch Universe? Tell me in the comments. Did you watch Universe online last night? Did you catch any of the evening gown? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys were following that. If you haven't, you definitely want to go ahead and do that because those are some amazing, beautiful women over there. They were gorgeous. They were gorgeous. However, we have some beautiful women here tonight, and we're going to go ahead and introduce and, and also be able to reintroduce one of our queens because we're having a little bit of some connection issues. However, we are going to get it all worked out. I just wanted you to be able to see her and say hello to her. And we're just going to bring her to the same very quickly. Lois Burnett, our Mrs. Georgia Cosmos United States. Hi, Lois. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm wonderful. Hi. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. So we really want to be able to have you on tonight, but I know that we're having a little bit of some connection issues, but I want you to be able to have your time without any interruptions, okay? Is there anything that you want to go ahead and say to our viewers tonight? Stay tuned, I'll be back. <laughs> you guys enjoy all of these, lo these lovely ladies. You're gonna get to meet some amazing women. So enjoy. enjoy. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay, Lois, we will see you later on on Tuesday or Thursday, okay? Sounds good. Bye. Bye, thank you everyone. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. So with Lois, we had a little bit of some connection issues, and I want to make sure that she has her time. I do not want it to be interrupted by no means necessary, and I think that's just fair. So y'all got a little a little glimpse, a little sugar of Lois Burnett. How do you like her hair? Let me know in the comments. Do you love her hair? Do you love her look? Let me know. Let us know in the comments. Our Mrs. Georgia Cosmos United States is lovely she's beautiful and i can't wait for her to come back to us and be able to share a little bit about herself with you all so that you can meet her right here on the live with crown garland tv okay let's go ahead and jump right into our next oh she is darling i've been watching her and i'm telling you with miss victoria we call her tori she is our junior miss mid-atlantic cosmos 2021 and she's beautiful when she wears turquoise she looks flamboyant on stage okay so let's go ahead and bring her up to the panel hey tori how you Hello, doing everyone. how you doing great how are you i'm very well how's everything going on your end um i can hear you perfect Perfect. I'm glad. I'm wonderful. I, and I was just talking about turquoise and teal and look at your wall behind you. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. I had to make my room that good. Okay. I love it. I love it. Go ahead and go and introduce yourself and also let them know how you love Cosmos. Hello, everyone. My name is Victoria Robinson and I'm your junior Miss Mid-Atlantic Cosmos. And I love Cosmos because Cosmos Cares is a way that I choose my own community service platform. And that's different from a lot of pageants because other pageants, you have to go by their platform. But I got to keep my platform, which is fighting childhood hunger. And that's one of the things I love about Cosmos. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this is your second year competing for Cosmos? Awesome. All right. So in your experience from your first year to your second year, have you experienced growth? What has changed for you? 
I've met so many new people these past two years, and it's been absolutely amazing because I've got to go on two beach trips, which is so much fun, and I've got to grow my platform a little bit more, which is very important to me. Very good. And what have you done this year that might be a little bit different from last year with your platform? Well, I haven't really been able to do anything with my platform because my platform is Fighting Childhood Hunger. And I have a lemonade okay. stand called Tori's Lemonade that I use to promote my platform. And due to COVID, I haven't been able to set it up. So I've used different ways that I can donate food to community outreach programs. So I've donated them to places such as Greater Things Outreach, Second Harvest Food Bank, and Two Miles to Church. And I've also donated to Blessing Boxes in my community. Very good. You're very active on social media, too, right? <laughs> yes. So active. You're like all over the place, and I absolutely love it. So what are your hopes for this year to go into nationals? What do you hope? I mean, of course, we all want the big crown, okay? But what do you aim to do a little bit differently this year that you didn't do last year? Well, one of my goals before going to nationals is to build a blessing box. And currently we're working on that now. And I'm pretty positive it's going to be done before we go to nationals. And I'll be able to donate to my church. And that's one of my goals before nationals. But I would also like after nationals to set up a closet in my school where you can get home goods or food items and people can anonymously I said that wrong. And, uh, it's, I know, girl, it's okay. Anonymously, anonymously, <laughs> anonymously. There, I said it for you. Go ahead. <laughs> I would want people to anonymously write their name or anonymously write something they need and they can go to the closet and grab it. Very good. Now, what makes you want to have such a platform and create such things for other people? Whenever I was really young, I saw the story on the news about hungry kids in my community. And it bothered me that there were kids in my town that didn't have food. So that's how Tori's Lemonade all started. And I had a food job at my school and we weren't quite going to reach our goals. I decided to set up a lemonade stand in my neighborhood and people contributed to that. And I donated the proceeds to my food drive. And Tori's Lemonade just got bigger after that because I wanted to keep promoting Tori's Lemonade and help fight childhood hunger. Very good. So fighting childhood hunger with your platform is that the direction that you are hoping to go in is that yes because i know that our platforms tend to change especially when you're younger to when you age up in different divisions yes. i've done okay. tori's Lem lemonade for about six years and mm -hmm. i want it to keep growing and that's something i really want to focus on okay very good why do you think it's important to have a platform as a pageant contestant well, not many people besides pageant girls have a platform or much less help out in their community. And I think that's very important because not many people know about fighting childhood hunger. I didn't know about it until I saw the story on the news. And I think pageant girls really stand out because they have platforms and they help out in their community. And I think that's just very important. Very good. And as a state title holder, international title holder, or even national title holder, what are your plans throughout your entire year reign? I would like to, well, either way, I would like to collab with my sister queens and okay. help out with their platforms, but also make my platform bigger and go across the country or internationally. Very good. A okay, lighter note question. Tell us about that beach trip for this year. Girl, that was amazing. I got to meet <laughs> junior Miss Sister Queens, and they're all so sweet. And I got to stay in a hotel condo place with them. And it was so uh -huh. much fun because we got to bond. But while we were there, we also got to do community service, and I thought that was really cool. It was. It really was. It was cold, but it was great, right? Yes. It, it's yeah. really not that bad because the past year, it's been really cold. Really cold, yes. Yeah, like 20, 30 degrees cold. So it was a little bit better for us this year, right? Yes. Very good. All right. So if there is anybody out there that's wanting to compete in pageants, what would be your advice to them, Tori? I think in pageants, people take it the wrong way. And 
I don't think pad that's what pageants are because you learn interview skills, which are good for job interviews or just talking to people in general. And you also learn modeling skills, which is very important. And you also yes. learn other things just as helping out in your community, which is a big part of pageants. And I definitely encourage people to do pageants if they're looking into it. Very good. So, Tori, are you one of the most beautiful girls of all the cosmos? Well, I mm -hmm. think everybody that is the cosmos is it. <laughs> and well, I, I'm beautiful inside and out, and so is everybody else. Okay. You are awesome. That was spot on. I love it. All right, Tori. Thank you so much for coming. Thank I'm so, so glad you were here. It was wonderful. Just last thing, how are you doing with preparing for nationals right now? I'm doing amazing. I'm working on my interview skills, my modeling skills, and I've also started with a personal trainer to help me get more fit. Ah, who's your personal trainer? Go ahead and give well, them a shout out. Got a meal plan from Justin Bowers, but I also have a trainer in my town since it's a lot closer. Okay. And my brother's Wonderful. actually friends with him, so I think that's pretty cool. Oh, that's good. So are you liking the custom with Justin with the meal prep? Is that working yes, out? Well? I'm loving it. Very good. Well, good luck to you. I can't wait to see what you're going to wear. I know it's going to be fabulous. You were Thank fabulous you. last year. When you were at state, I was like, whoa. Okay, you know I love that turquoise. I love it, girl. And then you dipped your shoes too. Ooh. Yeah, you were you were on you. point. I was loving that. So thank you so much, Tori. Thank and you I so wish you the best of luck. Keep thank working you. hard. I love everything you're doing, and I'll see you very soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, that was Tori, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of Miss Tori. She is doing an amazing job. Make sure you go ahead and follow her. I'm gonna put her information down here at the bottom of the screen. Also put hashtag replay if you guys are watching the replay of this video. Follow her on Junior Miss Mid-Atlantic Cosmos United States, her own title holder page to see all the amazing work that she is doing. She's doing an excellent job in her community. And this is a queen who loves to serve. All right. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and bring our next dun, 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 one of our Mizzou division. You know, I'm partial, y'all. I love my Mizzes because I just look at them. I like really hard. I'm like, okay, who's it going to be this year? Okay. Everybody has great potential. Who's it going to be this year? You know, I'm really excited for all of them to come on the show so you guys can meet every single one of them. But tonight we have Lois. She's going to be coming back. Tonight we're actually going to go ahead and bring Miss Katie Fireball up to back, which are our Mrs. North Carolina Cosmos in the United States of 2021. Hi. Hi. How are, How are you, you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. good. Oh, wonderful. I love your earrings, girl. They look good. She's like, yeah. Thanks. I like big earrings. I, I do too. I do too. I'm wearing I'm wearing Ellen and Boyne tonight. Yes. I love them. She I recognize them. I think I have those. Yes. Yes. They're beautiful. I love them. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Sure. I am Katie Clatterbaugh, your Mrs. North Carolina Cosmos 2021, and I am so honored to be here tonight. I am a wife to my husband of almost nine years in September, Chad, and together we have an absolutely beautiful son named Camden, who is truly the light of our lives. I am a photographer and a entrepreneur. I am a community leader and very active in the volunteer uh, side of my community, as well as an advocate for domestic violence. So I do a lot, I wear a lot of hats, but all wonderful things. Wonderful, I love it. So why pageants for you? So pageantry was um, something for me to set a large goal for. So I want to always push myself to be the best version. And I found that pageantry was stepping so far out of my comfort zone because I didn't compete as a child. I didn't compete until I was a married woman. Um, so yeah. I've been competing for about four years now, and I've truly seen such personal growth and just development through this amazing system and, and pageantry world um, that it's been a wonderful blessing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So why did you choose to compete with Cosmos specifically? Yes. So I remember watching Ashley Strummy compete. 
And I had just absolute awe for her. And I stood back and I was like, I'm going to be her one day. I'm going, I'm going to follow in her footsteps. And watching the Cosmo system for a few years, I was never able to compete just for timing purposes. And so when this year came around and I was finally able to join that stage and join the sisterhood, I was so excited because there truly is not a system like Cosmos. Cosmos celebrates individuality, diversity, empowering women. And these are things that are so close to my heart because I'm not cookie cutter. I'm not the typical mom or business owner. And I want to celebrate my differences and, and empower women through my journey in pageantry as well. So I was very, very excited to be able to compete and win the title of Mrs. North Carolina. Wonderful. So tell us about your state experience. Oh, my gosh. First of all, <laughs> can we just maybe shout out Sharon and Renee and the whole production team? Because, yes. hello, they're amazing. Yes. They seriously yes. just, I was a dancer my whole life. I danced professionally. I was a competitive dancer. And seeing the production that went behind the scenes on a last minute switch, I mean, it was incredible. I was so blown yes. away. I felt so much love and so much sisterhood, so many wonderful women in one room. And we got to laugh together and truly become friends. And it was unlike anything I had ever imagined. There was no cattiness. There was no we were all competing, of course, because it's a pageant, right. but there was no competitiveness right. with each other. It was so much fun. And I walked away with so many new friends. Wonderful. Let's talk about these big girl. Yes. You know, we're going to talk about, let's talk about them. So this who are you wearing event. today? Okay, she knows. <laughs> I know okay, where you're so, going. Yeah, so me and Katie have this thing, guys. I've, I've been following her because she started following me in September. And, uh, you know, looking at her stuff, she, she has different girls. She has different wigs. And she's very proud of them. <laughs> she loves to educate us. And I always tell girl, who are you wearing today? She's like, this is Yvette. This mm -hmm. is okay, so tell us about Yvette. Tell us about her. Yes. So Yvette is, uh, she's a new addition. She is from Lou's Wigs, who is an incredible wig maker in Atlanta, Georgia. And there is so many reasons why women wear wigs. And there's reasons why I wear wigs but it's so not talked about and it's a taboo subject that I am very open with wearing wigs because I want women to feel beautiful no matter why they wear a wig. Just as you know, we might get Botox or plastic surgery, wearing wigs is no different. If you feel beautiful in, in a wig or extensions or whatever you choose, we need to celebrate that. We need to honor that and being kind of the face of wig wearers in the pageant world. Um, right. It's really been an honor and it's really connected me with a lot of women throughout the world that have this fear of going out and seeing someone else go out and do it and talk about it openly really gives them the power and says, you know what, it's okay. If I can do it, so can you. There's no, there's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely. So Katie, if you follow Katie, she goes and takes us through the whole thing of her going to the salon and getting them washed. <laughs> it's amazing. I have to, I love it. I really do love it. I enjoy yes. it and I enjoy the inspiration behind it. Do you want to go ahead and share with us why you wear wigs? What is your sure. Wig you wear? Yep. Yeah. So my wig journey started actually because my mother was diagnosed with a form of alopecia that was going to essentially leave her losing a lot of hair that they would never get back. And it is a genetic condition. So she was really struggling with losing her hair. She thought that that was her femininity and that's what made her beautiful. And I hated seeing her so sad. And so I said, well, mom, I'll wear a hair piece with you. And so I started with something called toppers, which is kind of like an extension or a fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And I really liked it. And shockingly, I walked out and my husband was like, dang, you look good. <laughs> Why are you getting extensions when you could be doing this? And so yeah. it started as a journey with my mother. And then as years progressed, I too started losing my hair. But I wanted to be in a position where it was my choice to wear wigs and not something that I had to do because of the medical condition. So it wasn't until this past December that I started getting tests done and learned that I too do have an autoimmune disorder that causes hair loss. But I've been rocking wigs for years now, and it's just... 
I'm the wig girl. My my friends meet me and new people meet me and they're like, wait, weren't you blonde yesterday? I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I could be I could right. be who I want. Yes. Exactly. I who I want to be. I love it. I absolutely love it. My mom actually she wears wigs as well. She was diagnosed with breast cancer a couple of years ago. Right. And she and she names her girls too, girl. She names all of them. So she has all different <laughs> kinds, short ones, blonde ones. I'm like, who are you wearing today? So that's where mine comes from, from asking you that. Thank you so much for sharing that with My us. Pleasure. Can you tell us why do you think it is important for title holders to demonstrate community service? I think we need to give back for the generations to come. As a mom, my greatest role in this life and greatest title I'll ever hold is mom. And it's my job to show our son that yes, we are fortunate and we are blessed, but we are also blessed to be able to give back. And when we give back, we not only help our community, but we also help our hearts. We really fill our hearts and we feel good. And it just teaches, it teaches the generations to come that it's not just about you. It's not what I, what I have and that's mine and this is that. It's really, a life is about helping other people. Okay. And what would you have to say if I said the judges are watching you right now? I'd say hi. I can't wait to meet you in Orlando. Five minutes is going to go really fast, so I'm glad you're tuning in, and I really look forward to answering all your questions. Very good. And tell us, this is something I think that is on my heart as well, and when you are a title holder, say that you don't win, Katie. Hey, I love you, girl. I love you, girl. But it's all, you know, it's a possibility, right? It is a possibility. Know. We have some great women competing. We do. And if you don't win, why is it important? And what are you willing to do as a state title holder to continue mm -hmm. your reign? So the work doesn't stop because nationals passes with or without the crown. You have to know your why coming into pageantry. And my why was very simple. I wanted to inspire and empower women to find and live a joyful life. It might not be pageantry for everyone. For me, that was something that I really wanted to achieve. I want to be a national and international queen. And I want to do that to help other people and to inspire women. So when the crown or the national title comes and goes, the work doesn't stop. I'm still going to be Mrs. North Carolina Cosmos. I'm still going to be Katie and, and volunteer and empower others and come out with the plan that I have set in place right now to, to just finish out the year. That's, okay. that's your job. Yeah. I caught that, Katie. You said I have my plan in place right now. She paused, you guys, because she's not trying to lay out her little secret. <laughs> Did I catch that right, Miss Katie Clatterball? Maybe. Maxie, yes. Well, she's, she's <laughs> I gotta give the judges something exciting to come okay. back to, okay. right? Okay, okay, yes, you do. Yes, you, yes, you do, Queen. Yes, you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are absolutely right. So, if there was an advice that you want to give to somebody that is on the fence about competing with Cosmos, what would be the advice that you would go ahead and give them? Do not hesitate, friend. There is never a perfect time, there is never a perfect situation. And whatever excuse you're telling yourself, call me, text me, and I will talk you out of it because there's no excuse. If you want to join an incredible sisterhood and truly empower yourself, empower your family, set an example for your kids or your sister or whoever it is in life and show them that you can step out of your comfort zone and achieve big things. We have one life to live. We might as well make it an extraordinary one. Very good. I have one last question. Okay. okay. So some may think that it's difficult. You know, when you enter pageants, you might not know what's going on. You know what kind of coaches to get involved with and what type of pageant systems to go ahead and enter into. And that can be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think what's most important that people think that need to actually focus on is merging who you are with the mission that you want to accomplish with that system. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Right. So explain how you're able to do that with photography. So with photography, I primarily shoot weddings, but I also shoot empowerment sessions and empowerment sessions are for anyone, an, an entrepreneur, a mom, a, a sister, anyone you want. And it's about 
showing you the the way the world sees you so i'm behind the camera encouraging you and, and just loving you so that when you see those images you step back and you're like oh my gosh that's me like right we are the worst critics of ourselves and the truth is most people don't ever really see the flaws you see in yourself and so as a photographer i'm able to bring that out of you so that you can see it and teach you how to to lead a joyful empowered life with something as simple as a photo on social media very good all right i'm not going to ask you no more questions you know i just thought of another question katie do you want one more question or no more questions? sure give it to me yes oh no she's going like this <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay so the rain is coming right what can we expect from you if you were to get crowned as a national or international title holder? Just a tidbit, you don't have to give it all away. <laughs> you can expect a lot. I am a worker bee and I'm here to do the job that it is a big job. We have big, big shoes to fill, whoever, sho whoever shoes, whoever fills you and Alia's positions. But I'm willing to do the work, I'm ready to do the work and I have a very, very good plan in place to do just that. Okay, you see that, y'all? She just keeps talking in circles. You don't want to tell. But that's okay. I'm not going to push you anymore. I'm not going to push you anymore. You did so well. So Thank you. Yes! I know it's going to be amazing. So how's it going preparing? This is the last question I'm going to ask you. I know you'll keep saying that. Yeah, preparation is amazing. I have been working daily on the Crown Fit program. I have been working with coaches galore. And I am truly setting myself up to go to nationals, win or lose, internationals and nationals, I should say, win or lose, knowing that I gave it 100% effort and that I truly prepared to the best of my ability. Um, my plan A consists of a plan B because there are always <laughs> things that's going to come up, right? COVID, weather yeah. storms, I mean, you name yeah. it, things are going to happen. Um, and I think what drives my success is I plan or things like that to happen. So today it was waking up at 4.30 in the morning to make sure I got the things I needed to accomplish done before my son got up so that I can get it through the day with no excuses. Very good. You just got all the answers tonight. I'm done with you, Katie. I'm done. I'm well, done. thank you. She's like, she said, thank you, Queen. Thank you. <laughs> all right. It was well, lovely I'm talking looking. with you. It was. We will see you in July at Nationals, and we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Bye. All right, guys. That was Katie Clarabelle, our Mrs. North Carolina Cosmos. And she did an, an outstanding job tonight. I love to be able to hear it right from the Queen's mouth themselves, what they're planning to do. And it's actually having Crown Garland TV gives us the opportunity to allow the Queen to come on here, prepare themselves to speak in front of everyone because our press conference style interview is different from all the rest. Nobody else is doing it. This is a Cosmos brand of uh, interview style that we're actually accustomed to and we were the very first to actually do it. But it's great because women are able to express themselves and who they are and actually showcase what they wanna be asked about and talk about throughout their interview and they are in control of their interview. So right here on Crown Garland TV, as we introduce the Queens behind the ground, they just get to do just a little bit of that just for practice. So I'm talking to you, my Queens, who have not yet been a part of Crown Garland TV. We have many others that will be coming aboard that are already signed up and ready to go, waiting for their mark for their Tuesday and Thursday from now till July, whenever we meet all of our Queens and national, which is our national and international pageant for Cosmos this year in Orlando, Florida at the Omni Hotel. Remember, there's still time for you to go ahead and submit. The deadline is June the 4th. We want to make sure that we get you guys on board. If you guys were not online this weekend and got to see one of our amazing sponsors and we're designers that we're working with, which is, C oh, sorry, I can't even talk, which is Caesar with Sorlo Corp. We actually got to go to the operation itself in Miami and I was there. I got to make a swimsuit, y'all. It was amazing. Fast production too. I worked really, really hard when I made it. 
I worked really hard, but it was scary. You guys are going to want to go to see Cosmos United States, our page on Facebook, so that you can get caught up to see the behind the scenes for that. We like to have fun with Cosmos, and we invite you to do the very same. Remember, we have states that are available in your division. We like to go ahead and represent our nation and have our stage full with you. So if you are on the fence, just like our queen tonight, we're able to tell you and give you great advice. Wait no longer. We have scholarship programs that is available to you. You just have to go ahead and click that information and let me go ahead and put that up here for you. Once again, info at cosmospageants.com is our email and visit our website at www.misscosmosunitedstates.com. Com. We would love to be able to have you guys continue to stay tuned. Remember, Lois Burnett, our Mrs. Georgia Cosmos United States of 2021, will be back. That was a, not her interview. We were just having disconnection issues, and I want to make sure that she gets her full time in without interruption. That's only fair. So she will be back, and we will have just as much fun with her as we are with our other queens. Stay tuned. We will be back on Thursday with you guys with our new sets of queens and remember we will be telling you how you can get discovered with Cosmos pageants because you're only going to be able to do, do that here with us so I will be letting the cat out of the bag on Thursday just a little bit so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and what we have in store for our amazing queens and all of you delegates who have joined us and continue, will continue to actually come back and compete with us and for us as we grow this brand and take it to new heights and new levels. If you are a queen that is ready to live outside of the box and you really want to embrace who you are and embody that with a brand that's gonna accept that and help you flourish, you're in the right place with Cosmos Pageants. As always, you guys, I'm Samantha Abraham, your Mrs. Cosmos International of 2020 here with Crown Garland TV, wishing you a very good night, and I will see you on Thursday.